Okay, so let's get into some interesting things that right from the Google homepage that you can do for math. How about graphing for math? You can put in an equation, a graph like this, and it will bring up an interactive graph here that will give you the x, y anywhere along this line as you go through. Well done, Google. How about if we need to know the area of a shape? So if we say solve circle. So we're solving for area and you can simply enter a value. So if the radius is three, uh, then the area of the circle is 28.27. Uh, if the radius is 1.5, then the area is 7.07. .07. This will work for any shape that you want to try. Let's put in triangle. Brings up the same thing, so we've got to add in the base and the height values. So let's see what happens here. If we enter in a 5 there, and we enter in a 3 here, then the overall area is 7.5. So very, very nice tools that Google provides directly through the home page for getting the area of different shapes. Right from the Google home page, you can convert almost any kind of unit that you want to. So if we wanted to convert currency, uh, US dollar uh, to euros, so one dollar is worth that much in euros. It even brings up the graph uh, several years past how well these two currencies have done against each other. Uh, then you can change this if we wanted to check it against uh, something else here, the Canadian dollar. And there you go. So converting currency, simple as cake. What if we wanted to convert uh, four gallons equals how many quarts, cups, pints? We can get all of those here. There you go. And again, we can just change this here. If we wanted to get, uh, we've got quart. What if we wanted to have cups? What if we wanted to have a teaspoon? Right? Uh, so we can convert all sorts of different units here directly through the Google homepage. Get out there and start learning. Thanks for joining me today.